solve this guy. We're talking about solving through factoring <coughs> using the zero factor <coughs> theorem. The first word says zero. Notice how this guy is equal to zero, right? Done. The second thing says to do what? Factor. Factor. Isn't this guy already factored? So if I set this guy equal to zero, tell me the steps that you would take to get x by itself. You would add, so positive 27 and divide by 4. What would you get from this guy? <coughs> Subtract 10, divide by 7. This guy is a variable, so I can get an answer from here. What do I get? How about just zero? If you have zero fifths, then you've got zero, right? And think about how we got this is that we took 5x and we set it equal to zero. You divide both sides by 5, and there's your x equals zero. So you see where it comes from. How did I get the 7x plus 10? Well, or the negative number 7? I set 7x plus 10 equal to zero. Now you can step by step go through this to solve it, but I hope that we don't have to do that at this <coughs> point. We've done so much solving of linear equations that shouldn't be something we have to think about. So I get one, two, <coughs> three solutions. Do you all agree? Everybody's happy? Just like me, you know I'm always happy. <coughs> <coughs> okay, let's take 2x <coughs> times 3x minus 1 is equal to 8. What should I do here? I have to have it equal to 0, but I can't do that with the 8 over there. Distribute 2x. Distribute? So what do I have? 6x <coughs> squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0, right? Go ahead and move the 8 over. Factor. I sure hope this factors, right? Oh, sweet! Common factor of 2, right? What am I left with? 3x squared minus x minus 4 is equal to 0. <coughs> Is this 2 going to matter in terms of my solutions? No. The 2 doesn't contribute to solutions. <coughs> you have an exponent of 2 here, so I expect how many solutions? <coughs> 2. All right, so let's see. How does 3x squared minus x minus 4 factor? 3x minus 4 and x plus <coughs> 1, is that right? So I get what from this guy? How do you solve this guy equal to zero? You add four, divide by three. What about the other guy? <coughs> X equals negative one. Now, let's check this guy with the graph and calculator just to make sure that we know what's going on here. <coughs> so, back to where we were. Go to math, solver, and remember how we did the equations yesterday? You don't need to do the math. You don't need to do the, the, the trouble here. I've got 2x parentheses, <coughs> 3x <coughs> minus 1, but it needs to be equal to 0, so then I had to do what? Subtract the 8 over right? If I want this to be equal to 0, I have to subtract <coughs> the 8 in the original equation. It says x equals negative 10, but that's left over from the last problem, isn't it? Let's have it solve to negative 10. What's the closest solution to negative 10? It tells me negative 1. Does that match up? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Then how do I find my other solution? Positive. Let's see which one is closest to positive 10. It tells me that guy. Hopefully you can convert 1.3 repeating to a fraction. But if you can't, what am I going to do? Uh, 
Well, I can't do that from here, though. Because if I do you this, it, 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 it didn't like that. So it's, it has that for my x, right? So quit, type in x here, and it has as 1.3 repeating. Oh, okay. So now you can convert that to math. Right. Math to a fraction of four thirds, <coughs> and we, we've got that. We've got it. When you do that, it automatically stores that new number as x. If you have it go through something where you are solving for x, whether it's the intersection of two lines or using the solver feature, and it says x <coughs> equals, okay. that is the x value. Now, if you even though you programmed other numbers into x no. prior to that, right? Because every time you store a value into x, it overwrites what was already there. I understand that, but I just want to confirm. Yeah. That that's over it's automatically overriding yes. whatever you had in there. That's correct. Okay. Now, if you clear the memory, what value does x become? Or is it empty? Empty. It's not empty. One. Nope. Zero. Oh. When you clear out the memory, x has a stored value of zero. It has to have something. So it's it's zero. So just watch out for that guy.